<laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles. Adewale. How go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. Who's a slave who freed himself. And hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the creed. You see? You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got to other business first. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. She abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Well done, Shane. Keep it up. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What are we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Shay, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium drain. Where there no charts, no, no, no maps? No. 
There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could get Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Uh, what's this? A rifle. Here there! Stay! Where you are. What can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. Brother, are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> My brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hands to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wounded friends. Be 
No! Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. Speaking of Lawrence Washington, but you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant her colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript, Captain? I apologize, sir, but Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cop up the manuscript post haste, else I will have him scalped. Take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? No, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. Shay! Thank goodness! Uh, quick! 
Help me with the rods! It's a map. Where is that? Portugal. Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Sort clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in the north. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Benedictus es, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate accepimus vinum, tuo divi offerimus, fructum vitis et operis vanum homini, ex tuo nobis diet Do this to them. God had nothing to do with this. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead uh, thanks to your damned manuscript! This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents! How dare you! You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Machandal sent his man in Haiti. What the he hell's knew. going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. That's enough. Give back the manuscript, Shay. I'm sure Achilles... I cannot! I will not let this happen again. All oh, those souls lost. One more hardly matters. Shay! <laughs> Glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. 
Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill him. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay? I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. Uh, I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? Ah! And don't come back! Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose, if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. <gasps> Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Yes. Did I have a book with me? Just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. That will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. 
I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Welcome aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! Good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like the sound of that. Chasseur. Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. You are always good at your business, Say. As were you. Tell me. What are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. And may your final delivery be swift.
Master Cormac. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. Shay! Oh, it is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing, then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Uh, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of.
Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause. And this despite, and perhaps because of, your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassins sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe... I can finally repay my debt to him. Cover! Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Say! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's training post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there. So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were, but what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk, but I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel, the manuscript, why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir. I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. Venerable one. My name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I... I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here, among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? Damn the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. 
I'm sure the colonel can hold it. You heard the captain, lads! Make haste! This is Kasegawas' work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Kasegawase. Trained you well, traitor! Kisigawase. It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam, I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide us. Guide us. Where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. How? How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin. As I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. 
Give me a phone. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you've seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the uh, Lübeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shay Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Adewale? Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed, gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. <laughs> Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. 
I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, she. Perhaps I have. Come. What is our progress on the precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next precursor site. And you're confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. And the authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big. They couldn't ignore those damn brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, he'll kill you. She's in that big mansion. The one with the gardens. Shall we go? We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. About time you showed up. Sorry it had to come to this, Shay. You were a fascinating fellow. Give Liam time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential. Master Cormac, to what do I owe the pleasure? I was stopping to restock my ship when I heard the talented Captain Cook was here. We have a word. At your service, as always. I'm looking for a man. Captain Louis-Joseph Gautier, Chevalier de la Verandry. The explorer? 
I have heard of them and his illustrious family. I must see him. Ah, who sent him my regards? Or not. He sailed east a few days ago on a heading to Anticosti. Mm, indeed. I would advise caution. Well, I've been there before. Then, I bid you good fortune. I will be sailing past Conception Bay, should you require further assistance. Much obliged. Master Cormac, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I found Olivet Andre's travel plans. But the devil used some kind of code, I... I can't figure it out. Maybe you'll have better luck. How strange. It is a very old cipher. I have seen it once before. I could draw you a map. Or... You could accompany me. Help me find a Laver Andre. An urgent matter, then. Very well. We shall sail together again. Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly, um, interesting. Well, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. Uh, tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? The Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The Levet Andre won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged. Master Kenway! De La Verandry's dead. I have the coordinates. I know where the assassins are going. Then, let us make haste. Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site. The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end and witness the death of Achilles' brother. Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. She was right. What would he know? 
More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles. This is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. You betrayed the Brotherhood, Achilles, and me, says the man who shot me in the back at the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss. The Dodge. <laughs> Lucky. How many times do I have to tell you, Liam? <laughs> I make my own luck. How do you do that? You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. No! Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him course. Achilles has lost everything. He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order. And for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. <laughs> Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? Royal Palace at Versailles, Louis XVI, and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Nubs. You're the traitor. I'm just finishing old business. Oh, Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. 
perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shea Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended. Another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history, and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us. And for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.